Hey guys, happy Thursday. We are cooking again together. I'm so glad you guys are here. Today we are making our third recipe out of our Gooseberry Patch Cookbook. We are going to make the Magic Meatloaf. I am so excited about this. We have been cooking from the Super Fast Slow Cooking Gooseberry Patch Cookbook. This is a five ingredients or less crock pot cookbook. Toss it in and turn it on. That is my kind of meals. And this is the recipe we're gonna be making, guys. So if you wanna pause the video, write this down, screenshot it, whatever. Um, I have been trying to make some recipes out of some cookbooks that I've gotten for Christmas, and this is my first one. I would cook a lot from Pinterest, and I have so many cookbooks that I'm like, why am I not doing more of my cookbooks? So this is what we're making today. There is two pounds of ground beef, two eggs beaten, a cup of quick cooking oats, a cup of ketchup, and mild salsa. I think, guys, I might actually, too, add some extra things like some green peppers and some onion and make this a little bit my own. But I'm really excited to make a meatloaf in the crock pot. I have never made a meatloaf in the crock pot. Give me my little cameraman today as I prepare the meatloaf since my hands are going to be dirty. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, guys, so I've got my handy-dandy videographer helping me. <laughs> So I've got my beef in here. There's just a little bit down in here where I might have to get in with my hands where it was still a little bit cold and frozen because I did thaw this out in the microwave. But I just did sprinkle some fresh onion. I was going to maybe do some green pepper, but um, I wasn't really thinking that the salsa has onion and pepper and stuff in it. I might have to get in here with my hands and break this up, mm. but... That's kind of how much onion. I don't really, I didn't really measure. I just sprinkled it in there. But over here, I have measured the two eggs that are beaten. And then I've got, I'm going to dump in next. I've got a cup of quick cooking oats measured out there. Go. And then I have a one and a half cups of a mild salsa. I just used some cheap great value salsa. Um, I think the great value salsa is pretty good actually, but yeah, I wasn't really thinking that this has onions and peppers and everything in it. So I don't think I'm gonna add any frozen pepper. We're just gonna honestly see how this is. The only thing I added is the onion. So I just really wanna try this recipe. And then the only other ingredient is a half a cup of ketchup. So let me get that, I'm gonna kinda wipe this. This is different when I make homemade meatloaf. I make the same meatloaf my mom made. And um, I use like bread and everything. Like I use real bread and break it up, kind of stale bread. But I am going to pause the video here quick and kind of get in here with my hands. And this is kind of the messy, not so fun part of meatloaf. But I am so excited to try this. Okay, guys. So I got this mixed up pretty good. You guys want to kind of see what that looks like. So what we're gonna end up doing in my crock pot, I'm going to line my crock pot with a crock pot liner. If you don't have a crock pot liner, I would maybe, it doesn't say to spray it, but I would maybe just spray it a little bit just in case I wouldn't want it to stick. I don't think that it would, but just in case. But we're basically, the recipe says we're gonna shape this into a loaf, place it in the slow cooker and cover and cook on low for um, eight to 10 hours or cook on high for four to six. So it says it serves about four to six people. So I'm gonna cook this on high for four to six hours because I want to have this for dinner and I'm starting it here, it's about 1.30. So I am gonna get this ready to put in the crock pot. All right guys, I'm just kind of plopping my meat in there. Yeah. And I don't really know how to, it kind of takes up the whole crock pot. So it's kind of hard to make it like a loaf. I guess that kind of looks like a loaf. Even that out. I'm gonna wash my hands and we'll set the crock pot. Okay guys, so I am popping the lid on there and we're gonna set, turn the power on. I'm gonna set this to high. We're gonna do four hours. I might do four and a half just to be safe. I'm gonna then check the temperature of this with my therm meat thermometer. See how it is. If it needs to go a little bit longer, we can. Luckily, my husband's off tomorrow, so if we eat dinner a little bit later tonight, no big deal. 
And um, I'm gonna hopefully serve on the side some potatoes and some um, kind of other vegetable, like a green, um, either broccoli or like maybe peas or something. I'll show you guys really quick. Um, these I got at Walmart in our last grocery haul. I've been wanting to try these forever. They're from the Little Potato Company. These are garlic and parsley. And I'm really, really excited about these. They're microwave ready. They come with like a little seasoning packet in there, if you can see it. And it just says, let's see, does it say? Um, back here, you peel back the plastic, remove seasoning pack, and you just kind of prepare it like that. I'll walk you through this as I prepare these later, but I'm super excited to have this on the side with the meatloaf and some kind of green vegetable. I'm really hoping our son might try this and like it. So we're going to let that cook and I'll catch back up with you guys hey later. Hey guys, so we are back. It has been four, almost four and a half hours later. I've got like 20 minutes left on my meatloaf. It looks great. I'm going to show it to you guys, but I did just open it up. I poked it with my thermometer. It's definitely done, but I did just sprinkle. If you guys can kind of see through there, I did just kind of like squirt across some little lines of ketchup and I put the lid back on and I'm going to leave it the rest of the 20 minutes to just kind of let that like ketchup kind of like caramelize. But I wasn't thinking I should have made like kind of like maybe a sauce like you would almost do on a hamburger barbecue with like mustard, maybe a little brown sugar, some ketchup, um, even maybe a little Worcestershire sauce and like sprinkle that on top. Oh, well, I forgot I didn't do that, but I'm just going to let that ketchup kind of like caramelize on there for the next 20 minutes and we're going to cut it open and see how it is. I'm going to pop these potatoes here in the microwave soon figure out what um vegetable we want to have and get going from there i'm super excited i actually went i had to let my dad's dog out for him today and i went and got my grandma a little bit while my husband and my son took naps and we just went for a drive my husband works he um goes to work really early so sometimes when he gets home he takes naps and he's off oh, tomorrow what did you not nap? I didn't take a nap. I try to get him to take a nap when he's off the next day so he can like stay up with me later or he's like falling asleep at eight o'clock. But he tell told me he didn't nap. Sorry. <laughs> but so yeah, so it was just super easy. I literally put this in here, went to get my grandma, was gone for a couple hours, came home, and it was pretty much done. So we'll see how it is. It smelled so good when I walked in the house. Okay guys, my meatloaf is done. I've already been cutting off of it. I've got little man a plate started. I've got my potatoes in the microwave. I actually ended up doing a little bag of the bird's eye potatoes. They were like butter and chives because my other little potatoes, a few of them looked a little eh. So um, the one thing it's, you know, it didn't stay together super good when I'm scooping it out of there, but it looks uh, amazing. I am so, so excited to let you guys know how this tastes. What do you think, honey? Really good. Good. We got it all planted up here. Meatloaf, peas, and some potatoes. I got little man's food. I'm about to feed him. And he's got some little mandarin oranges. What do you think, honey? Oh, it's 10. 10? Yeah. Think so? Awesome. I like it. Is it? Let's try it. We'll see if Little Man likes it. I like it so far. I would say it's about a 10 too. Definitely do this. You couldn't make an easier meatloaf. I'll see if Little Man likes it. Is it good? He ate it. Let's try one more bite. Mommy blowing on it. Is it good? Swallow yeah. your food, you're good. He wants more. Hey, and it's even approved by toddlers. So I would definitely say make this one. Do you think, honey? Uh -huh. It's right. good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and I hope you have a great day or evening whenever you're watching.